One thing that came as a surprise to me first time I came to an Alps was the different places up the mountain, up and down the mountain, have plants that are ready in at different times and I've used this now. I live on a hill in Bristol and I use it in Bristol to, if I know that the elderflowers are ready at the top of the hill, I know that it will be a few weeks later before they're ready at the bottom of the hill and so I have an extended picking period. And here I found elderberries totally ready at the moment and here they're green and we're in a bit of a valley here at the moment. So hopefully if there's any growing up on the mountain um, when we're hiking late, I should find some that should be in season and it's I think that's one of the beauties about foraging It's like, you know, you, you go somewhere new and There's things that are really obvious, you know, the Sun doesn't come down to this Area until if you watch the Sun rise in the morning, you can see Across the mountainside you can see the Sun like work its way down from the mountain Down 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 so you know just doesn't get as much Sun so of course plants don't grow as quickly, they're quicker further up. But then you've got to contend with the fact that it's colder further up. So it's kind of another microclimate. And then inside some of the mountains, when you've got a big valley, then inside some of the mountains, you've got some areas that really don't get much sun at all. So here, you know, different seasons. And that's the beauty of the Alps. It's, you can sometimes find something you think that season's passed, and you'll find it somewhere else. Bye. <laughs>